In Visio 2019, there is an organizational chart that we can create from a wizard and a template. So let's do that. If you can't find it in the list of templates that you see there, you can just type in org, hit enter, and there's our organization chart. I'll double click on that, and we can see that a wizard comes up as well as some shapes on the left-hand side that will populate over time. And at the top, we see that we can choose the option for a file or database, such as an Excel file or maybe an Access database. If you have one, you can pull that information from there and import it into this org chart. Or we can do manual. So I'll choose the manual option since I don't have a file already to go for that option. We'll click Next. And now we see at the top to choose the type of file you want, we can either choose Excel or we can choose delimited text. So the difference is the text file is just going to pop up with a text file uh, when I click Next, whereas the Excel option is going to pop up with an Excel uh, spreadsheet that pops up when I click Next. The de let's just choose the delimited text. It's easy to edit, and we can just go ahead and, and keep going. I'm going to call this TechPub org chart one txt and you can see there's a path there and I'll just choose the default path but you can certainly browse to a new location if you want and I'll click next and now it's gonna say hey you need to edit some information in order to finish the wizard so we click OK so remember we chose the delimited text so when I click OK it's gonna pop up with a text file now it's a little bit easier to edit this thing if you click the middle box and it expands to the whole thing so we see name, reports to, title, department, and telephone. So this is really important because this information ties to the information that you see below. Let's check a name, for instance. We see name, and we see name here. Then we see reports to, and we see no reports to here because this is the CEO. The CEO doesn't report to anybody. Then we see title, and it's going to be CEO. And we see department, executive, and telephone, et cetera. So we see that same information for each one of these folks. So the only difference between Joe and Jane here is Jane has someone she reports to named Joe, which is also the CEO. John, however, reports to Jane. So you can see the, uh, the hierarchy here of these three different folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of information that will uh, make this even more interesting. So if I type a comma and a space, I can add a whole other category. So I'm going to type in email. So we're going to add in their email address. And all I have to do is type a comma after the telephone extension here and put in joe at techpub.us. Although, if you want to, we can uh, change that information instead of using the sample information. I'll just put in my information. And we'll change Joe to Robert. We'll leave everybody else the way they are, except for we're going to add Jane at techpub.us. And we'll add John at techpub.us. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another line. I'll just go ahead and fill that in, and we'll talk about it in just a second. So I've added another person. The person's name is Henry O, and Henry is going to report to John. So you can see we are continuing with this hierarchy. Uh, Henry is an admin. He's also in product development, just like the other folks that you see here. Uh, Henry's extension is 1234, and then this is Henry's email. So we should be seeing four people here. After closing that, clicking Save, and now we're going to say whether or not we want to include pictures in our chart. Well, if you want to, you can browse to those pictures. I'm not going to add any pictures. I'm just going to click Next, and I'm going to say I want the wizard to automatically break my organization chart across pages if we need to, but you can also add in hyperlink employee shapes across pages where they link uh, to other locations, and we can synchronize employee shapes across pages as well. We could also choose just to specify everyone individually, but this wizard will take care of a lot of work for us, so I like to keep that the way it is. Now we can see the wizard is done, and we see CEO, and we see all these different people. Henry here is the admin that we just added as the last person. Let's go back to where it says pointer tool. So now we can move anybody we want around. And the, everybody stays connected exactly the way they are. You'll notice there's a special org chart tab at the top. So here we can change the way 
that the uh, shapes are displayed. So that makes it kind of nice. And you can certainly add in pictures that you see here during that wizard portion if you wanted to. There's also another spot under design that you can go and choose to relay out page. So if you don't like the way it's laid out, but you don't want to do everything manually, you can simply take a look and see without even clicking, you can see how it's going to reorganize everything that you see here. Pretty cool. Big time saver. All right, so we've chosen the way we want it laid out. We can also click on different themes and change the colors as well. Let's say we want to edit what we see here. We want to take somebody out, move somebody in, add additional people. Uh, however we want to do this, or edit, maybe somebody changed their name. Uh, we can just go into that text file that we originally created, and it's going to be in that same location where you chose to save it. And we can go in and, and edit it here. We can go in and say uh, that, uh, hey, there's no more CEO anymore. That guy is now gone. Uh, or we can uh, add additional people. We can change somebody's name. Let's say uh, Jane got married to somebody else, and now she's just sample. So let's close that. We'll save it. After closing and reopening the program or just choosing import, you can import the file that we had just edited, either one of those, then it's going to come back and all the changes have been made. We see that the CEO is now gone. Jane's name has now updated as well. We'll zoom in and we can see it a little more closely. There we go. So that is how we create and edit an org chart in Visio 2019.